Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a Stormcloak. Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. Thank you. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Steal anything from my shop and you'll regret it. Let me know if you see anything you like. Someone new? Perhaps someone looking for me to mix something up for them? Take a look. The mercy of Stendar does not extend to Daedra worshippers. The Vigil will be watching you. Walk always in the light, or we will drag you to it.
down on... So much easier to rob when you're dead. Tell you. Do you need something? This must be the place. Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Dexian and I are gonna have some words when we get back.
No one's been here in centuries. I doubt there's any other place like it in Skyrim. Well, we got the knife. Now all we need to do is track down one of those canticle trees. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexian said they would. What is it? It's not like anything else in Skyrim, I can tell you that much. From now or before. There's probably groves like this all over Tamriel. Most people just don't even know what to look for. Look at them. They've definitely taken a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer.
Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. After everything we've been through, we had a damn well better work. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Then it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall cave? Then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Not much. If you read any history, it shows up from time to time, but it's a hard thing to track. As far as I know, though, it's never been held by a vampire. That would be a new one. Ariel is one of the elven gods. He's with the rest of them in Aetherius. The way I've heard it, the sun represents the connection from our world to theirs. Supposedly, the bow draws its energy from the sun itself, which is why it shows up in that prophecy. Where'd you come from?
Hello, yes. I'm the Dean of History and scribe work. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. Bows and arrows for the mighty huntsman. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? The finest weapons and armor. Turn any time you need arms or armor. My form is never left. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? Take a look. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and potions. So nice to have pleasant company for a change. Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Finally. What do you need, my friend? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing.
Come back to bits and pieces anytime. probably want someone else. I'm just the stable boy. I hate it. Everyone feels sorry for me, so they don't treat me too bad, but... Both my parents were in the Legion. There was an ambush. Keller said she'd feed me if I could make myself useful. I'd take care of the animals, run errands, that kind of thing. I guess it could be worse, but I'm sick of sleeping outside with the horses. I want a real home, real parents, not this. Both my parents were in the Legion. There was an ambush. Keller said she'd feed me if I could make myself useful. I'd take care of the animals, run errands, that kind of thing. I guess it could be worse, but I'm sick of sleeping outside with the horses. I want a real home, real parents, not this. Bye. You got business at the stables? That's what I'm here for. What are you offering? Good enough for me. It's the one with the saddle. Of course. Looking for a horse? You'll want to talk to my father, Gaiman. Is this about the stables? My husband, Gaiman, handles the business. It'll be good to get out of the sun for a while.
wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. No! Oh! Ha! Just a scratch! Uh, what you gonna do? Ah, uh, stop! No! 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 Tough day for you. Now, is this a surprise? This land feels... twisted. I'm surprised my father didn't want to live out here. Done and done. I heard something. I heard something.
I'll teach you. Why would anyone want to set up camp here? Something's not right here. Be careful. I think we may be in for some trouble. Come forward. You have nothing to fear here. I am Knight Paladin Gellimor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. Oriel, Oriel, Halkosh, Akatosh, so many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I prefer Snow Elf. The name Falma usually holds a negative meaning to most travelers. Those twisted creatures you call Falma, I call the Betrayed. Of course. You're here for Oriel's bow. Why else would you be here? I can help you get it. But first, I must have your assistance.
For the thousands of years I've served as the Chantry's Sentinel, there hasn't been a single visitor here for any other reason. They request Oriel's bow, and I request their assistance. It's been repeated so many times, I can't imagine it any other way. I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. It was the betrayed. They did something to him. I just don't know why Auriel would allow this to happen. They swept into the Chantry without warning, and began killing everyone without pause. The Chantry was a place of peaceful worship. I led a small group of paladins, but we were no match for the betrayed's sheer numbers. They slaughtered everyone, and stormed the inner sanctum where I believe they corrupted Vertha. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. He never looks as though he's in pain or under duress. He just stands there and watches, as though waiting. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Auriel, and an assault on the betrayed guarding the Inner Sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. So this is snow elf magic. Incredible. This structure is known as a way shrine. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Prelates of these shrines were charged with teaching the mantras of Oriel to our initiates. What's that basin in the center signify? Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin of the way shrine center and proceed to the next way shrine. So these initiates had to lug around a heavy pitcher of water. Marvelous. How long would they have to do that? Well, once the Initiate's enlightenment was complete, he'd bring the Ewer to the Chantry's inner sanctum. Pouring the contents of the Ewer into the sacred basin of the sanctum would allow him to enter for an audience with the Archcurate himself. All that just to end up dumping it out? It makes no sense to me. It's symbolic. I don't expect you to understand. So, let's get this straight. We need to do all that nonsense to get into the temple so we can kill your brother and claim Ariel's bow. I know how it all sounds, but if there was another way, I'd have done it long ago. The only way to get to my brother is by following in the Initiate's footsteps and traveling from Way Shrine to Way Shrine, just as they did. The first lay at the end of Darkfall Passage, a cavern that represents the absence of enlightenment. There are five in total, spread far apart across the Chantry. Caves? Oh no! The Chantry encompasses far more than a few caves, as you'll soon discover. But before I send you on your way, you'll need the Initiate's Ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a Spectral Prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the Shrine's Basin, as if you've been enlightened. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. Questions? Oh, what is I it? I expected as much. This is, or was, the epicenter of our religion. Most of the Snow Elf people worshipped Oriel. The Chantry was constructed near the beginning of the First Era to provide a retreat for those that wished to become enlightened. Our Empire had temples to some of the other deities. Trinimac, Cirebane, Yfre, and Finister rounded out the rest. But those temples paled in comparison to the glory of the Chantry and its way shrines. Oh yes. They were an important part of the process here. 
They represented the steps the Initiates took on the path to total enlightenment. Sadly, the magic used to construct these wonders were lost long before I arrived here. They're ghosts of the Snow Elf Priests that tended the Way Shrines, before being slaughtered by the Betrayed. Through the grace of Auriel, they were restored to their spectral form to enable them to continue their duties. I'm afraid in their current form, they still believe the Chantry to be an active center of worship. They won't respond to you in any way other than believing that you're an initiate and you're undertaking the journey to the Inner Sanctum. We were once a wealthy and prosperous society that occupied a portion of Skyrim. Unfortunately, we were constantly at war with the Nords, who claimed the land as their ancestral home. In a manner of speaking, we had always maintained an uneasy alliance with the underground-dwelling dwarves, and when faced with extinction, we turned to them for help. Surprisingly, they agreed to protect us, but demanded a terrible price. The blinding of our race. There were splinter groups that resisted the agreement, and even some that sought alternate alliances. But when it was all said and done, those elves were either slaughtered, vanished, or gave up and took the dwarves' bargain. I've often asked myself that very same question. The blinding of my race was supposedly accomplished with a toxin, certainly not enough to devolve them into the sad and twisted beings they've become. The Chantry is quite isolated, so it took some time for word of the Dwarves' offer to reach us here. By the time the compact had been completed, it was too late for us to even attempt to intervene. Correct. We only numbered perhaps a hundred at the time, so our presence remained a secret to the Dwarves and the Nords. Ironically, our undoing came at the hands of our own people. Yes. They swarmed the Chantry in vast numbers until we were completely overrun. We never really stood a chance. I assumed that the Archcurate was corrupted by them when they found a way to breach the Inner Sanctum. Werther and myself are the only two Snow Elves that remain. May Auriel keep you free from harm. <laughs>